It's episode 32! 32! Woo! Woo! Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, founder and CEO of Katie Lance Consulting, the Get Social Smart Academy, and author of the Get Social Smart book. And today's episode is all about how do you work it when you have multiple people managing your social media channels. First and foremost, this video is really geared for someone who has maybe a team, maybe you've got a marketing director and a couple people who are helping manage your social media. Maybe you are a team of agents and there's a number of you who are who are in your Facebook page every single day. Maybe you uh, are a marketing team at a brokerage. So a lot of times you've got multiple people who are helping to manage social media. Now, if you're an individual agent, probably a lot of what you're doing with social media is just you and yourself and that's fine. In fact, we talked a little bit about that in the last video where we talked about outsourcing. But many times there's multiple people involved in posting and creating content when it comes to social media. So how do you manage that? And I wanna give you a few tips because I've done a lot of consulting with various companies, large and small, various marketing teams, large and small. I've been on various marketing teams, large and small, and it's gone really well and other times not as well. So I wanna give you a little bit of insight. First of all, when it comes to multiple people in an organization managing social media, you've all gotta get on the same page. Right, you've gotta get on the same page with your goals of what you wanna achieve. You also wanna get on the same page with your tone of voice. Whatever the brand is, whether it's your brokerage, whether it's your team, whatever it might be, what's the voice? What's the personality of this page, of this social media profile? Because what you don't want is, you know, Susie posting one thing and she uses 10 different exclamation marks and then John posts something and he sounds totally different than Susie. You want it to be the same tone and the same voice. So it's important to have a conversation as a team about the tone, about your brand and, and how that looks when it comes to social media. The second thing is you really wanna get on the same page about who does what. So maybe you have somebody who's creating the content. Maybe they're creating videos or they're editing videos or they're writing blog posts. Maybe you have somebody who's scheduling content. Maybe you've got another person who's monitoring notifications, monitoring messages. You wanna get on the same page with who does what. And just because everybody could do everything and everybody's an admin on your Facebook page, doesn't mean everybody should actually be in there because then there's a lot of confusion. So you really wanna own specific things. You wanna own who handles notifications, who handles messages, and who's gonna handle posting and when. If you have multiple people, you wanna make sure that you figure that out and maybe you assign different days. So maybe Susie's assigned Monday, Wednesday, Friday to post content and John is assigned Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday to post content. You wanna get really kind of granular about who's doing what and on what days, and then again, being really consistent when it comes to tone and voice. Having multiple people to assist when it comes to social media, again, whether you've got a social media team or a marketing team, can be really, really effective, but it can also cause a little bit of chaos if you're not organized. I wanna give you guys those quick tips, and if you're part of a team, we would love to hear from you and hear what your challenges are when it comes to social media. As always, if you like this video, we would love if you would like, comment, and share. Uh, uh, leave us a comment below wherever you're watching this video. And for more information about social media tips, tools, and strategies, please visit us at katielance.com. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.